Right, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. It's all praises to the Lord calls God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh by Hashem, meaning in the name Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. Fuck <sighs> you. I also want to say uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and peace and mercy to the hopeful elect preaching sword and truth and sincerity. And the brother Tom Zabai and the great millstone errors on the camera of will with another video to edify. Uh, I want to go on in this article, right? So it says funeral rationing may be coming to, to Europe. It says warning issued by the uh, warning issued of one of the biggest and longest energy crises. The current energy energy crisis could be one of the worst and longest in history and euro could be hit uh, particularly hard uh, the head of the international energy Ag agency uh, Fatai B uh, Barrow uh, said on Tuesday it says in an interview with the German magazine Der Spilk or whatever, however you say it, Bryle said uh, that the fallout from the events in Ukraine is likely to make the current energy crisis worse than the crisis in the 1970s. So back then, it was all about oil. Uh, now we have an oil crisis, a gas crisis, and an electric electricity crisis at the same time. Braille told the uh, publication, adding that before the ongoing events in the Ukraine, Russia um, was a cornerstone of the global energy system, the world's largest oil exporter, the world's largest gas exporter, a leading supplier of coal as part of the Ukraine-related sanctions. The EU introduced restrictions on Russian fo uh, fossil fuels and has pledged a gradual phase, uh, gradually uh, phase them out. Right? So I bring this up because when you're talking about fuel rationings, you're also talking about food rationings. Those things are going to tie hand in hand. You have to sit here and use energy to transport food. So what? you're going to have less and less on those grocery store shelves. So at some point, just like they did with the toilet paper, right, and the water bottles, they're going to start doing that. Fuck yeah. They're going to start doing that with everything. Everything. They're going to start doing that with your food because what famine is prophesied in the scriptures the years I want as prophesied in the scriptures, right? And we're coming into those days. So let's get some precepts. And what will, this, will this be all edified? This is Jeremiah 49. And 31. It says, Arise, get you up to the wealthy nation that dwelleth without cares. Say, Yahweh, which have neither bars nor gates, which uh, which dwelleth alone. And now it's talking about America. Hey, you go to these other countries, they have bars and gates. America doesn't. They use, what, the seas for their bars and gates. And, and not only that, they've conquered the northern and the southern part. And north and southern America, they call it their entire backyard. Right? So, so they just conquered everything over here to ensure that nobody can come up and mess with them. This is what they've done. This is why this place dwells without cares, no bars and gates, because it's already beat the entire thing down. Right? But ultimately, this place is, is real lax. People here still trying to go on these extravagant vacations. Always wanted to go party and bullshit, right? I got a, I have a Snapchat and I, you know, 
have a uh, friends I've had in the world on it. Everybody's still partying bullshit. Business as usual. It says verse 32. It says their their camel shall be a booty. And the multitude of their cattle shall, shall be cattle a spoil. Sorry. And I will scatter into all the all winds them that are in the utmost corners. And I will bring their calamity from all from all sides thereof, say Yahweh. See, so since America's dwelt without that care, they've been able to live deliciously. But everything in in this place is about to be for a spoil. This is a uh, Ezekiel four. In 16 it says moreover said moreover he said unto me son of man behold I'll break the staff of bread in Jerusalem and they shall eat their bread by weight and with care shall they drink water by measure and with astonishment which is what going into rationing Right? The Lord breaks the staff of bread. That means what? There's no there's mm -hmm. no uh, assurance of, of food. There's no assurance of, of sustenance. So when you're eating it with care, that means what? You're getting less. It says that they may want bread and water and be astonished one with another and consume away for their iniquity. Right? And why are you going to consume away? For want of the fruits of the field, as it says in Lamentation, for these pine away for want of fruits of the fruits of the field, because what famine is going to start setting in is going to be real crucial, man. Isaiah forty-seven. It says, "Come down, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne." O daughter of the Chaldees, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate in abundance of food, the, the abundance of, of devices and, and riches, right? That was part of, of, of this place as a lure to the world. And now we're coming to the times where the years of one are going to be and people are going to start fleeing out of this place, right? Crime is about to jump expeditiously. It's, it's, it's going to shoot through the roof. More and more people having to worry about going homeless because these rent prices. Right? It's about to get real hot and heavy out here. It says, take the millstone and grind the mill. And grind mill, uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg, uncover the thigh. Pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Right? This is what's getting prepared to happen. When all this stuff starts to really, you know, speed up, it's going to be amazing to see the fall of this place because you would have never thought America would be in such a position to sit here and go through a type of rationing, food rationing, famine, right? You have all this, you know, good farmland in America and somehow all of it's failing. Somehow you can't figure out how to, sit here and, 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 you know, divvy out food and everything everywhere so nobody goes without. But America has been that wicked-ass place in the world, and they don't do those things. This is Ezekiel 12. And 18. It says, Son of man, eat thy bread with quaking, and drink thy water with trembling and with carefulness. And say unto the people of the land, Thus say Yahweh, power of the inhabitants of Jerusalem and of the land of Israel, they shall eat their bread with carefulness and drink their water with astonishment, that the land may be desolate from all that is therein because of the violence of them that dwell therein. And this is why this stuff is going to come to pass because the violence of the people that dwell therein. Right? This is uh, lewdness, is the mother of famine. This place. Has produced nothing but lewd behavior. 
right? Women, women are inordinate men. Men, men will will sit here and be on these, you know, red pill forums sitting there saying uh, shit to the effect of uh, 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 it's men against women and stuff like that, right? That they need that men have to pull other men up on a level, but they'll still be okay with fucking a uh, uh, committed adultery. Right? Sleeping with another man's woman. And it's crazy, man. So this is why Great Famine and Want is about to be here, man. Pretty soon they're going to ration out everything that you get. And those rations at some point are going to be tied into the MLTB, the Mark of the Beast. Which is that implantable RFID NFC microchip. You'll, they'll be able to put your banking information they, they, they're gonna they're gonna sit here and use that to fully complete data on you a hundred percent you know but just a quick video Lord, what was that a final I'm sick call log y'all but she be on shy but she will crack out shut alone